What is the Congress saying? I want to bring in Adil Singh Boparai. But having said that, I'll tell you, because you've calculated with a lot of additions, divisions, but uh, the Congress is saying the number that you're giving is not fair. It's farzi. And why it's farzi is because the jobs are already sanctioned posts that have not been filled up for years due to administration or financial reasons, number one. In a very large number of instances, appointment letters are even being given uh, as handouts of promotion. Where promotions are being given, they are being counted as jobs. And they've given out a list of how the numbers stacks up to possibly what you're suggesting, which in real is an inflated number and really doesn't exist on ground, which is also, madam, being reflected in our polls. But Adil Singh Boparai, the BJP maintains all that you are trying to build your argument on is nothing but uh, rhetoric. Hardcore numbers seem to suggest the, number, the job de generation in this country. Well, Preeti, on the contrary, the BJP's claims are a hoax. What we just heard for the past two minutes are bogus claims which I find no mention in reality. The fact of the matter today is that the country is reeling under an unemployment crisis. Pre-COVID, the Ministry of Labour came out with a report. It was a leaked report. It was the Government of India's report, which said that unemployment is at a 45-year high. This is the government of India's own report. The finance minister and the labor minister on the floor of the house in response to a question indicate that there are 9 lakhs and 76,000 jobs in the union government which are lying vacant. This is their own information on the floor of the house. Were they lying then? This is nothing but repackaged bogus claims and this government is adept at marketing. Marketing something which does not exist on the ground. Today, tomatoes are selling at 250 rupees. That's the reality. Today, graduates are not able to get jobs. That's the reality. Today, CMI data says that unemployment is touched 10%. That's the reality. Today, non-formal sector jobs are uh, completely vanished from the economic firmament in canvas. That's the reality. Today, farm jobs have increased because there's no source of formal employment. You know, you can come on national television and give a glib spiel, but the fact of the matter is, please see the situation on the ground. And I beg to differ, Mood of India data or Mood of India survey is not gospel truth. I can give multiple but this points. This one favors your argument. This, but saying. this particular data, Adil Singh Bhopurai, favors the argument that you're trying to stick. But Preeti, but Preeti, we don't, the opposition and more particularly the Congress party does not need crutches to hold on to or to amplify a point which is reality. Today, go ask a person out on the street. Petrol is 110 rupees. Food prices have increased. Dal, rice. Oh, I need to come in now. Take Let him finish now. Take come on. every parameter today. You know, you can push back of the envelope calculations to mislead the people, but that is not reality. You know, there's an old English adage that you can't fool all the people all the time. The okay. BJP so far has been successful in fooling people, but I think people are realizing that there is no governance. This government has been May a... I please come in now? Yeah, let him finish, ma'am. Come on. You, you got your fair. time. Make it's your point, Adil, quickly. Finally, okay. I think the BJP spokesperson need to res needs to respond on the Ministry of Labor's own report. They themselves acknowledged in 2019, and let me indicate this is pre covid I think every right-thinking person knows that post-COVID, okay. the situation has been worse. Their own government of India data said that unemployment is at a 45-year high. How do they shirk Fair away enough. from Fair enough, you're right. Yeah. Okay.